हेलो एंड वेलकम नेटफ्लिक्स एमेजॉन प्राइम डिजनी हॉट स्टार ऑल दिस कंपनीज ऑल दिस ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म आर यूजिंग वन टेक्नोलॉजी द टेक्नोलॉजी वी कॉल इट सी डी एन एंड ए डब्ल्यू एस सी डी एन टेक्नोलॉजी इज नोन एज क्लाउड फ्रंट फ्रॉम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू सीरीज एंड इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्लाउड फ्रंट डेफिनेटली देर आर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ थियोरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर क्लाउड फ्रंट जर्नी विथ डेफिनेशन हियर आई हैव डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्लाउड फ्रंट क्लाउड फ्रंट इज एक्चुअली सी डी एन CDN is a technology which is used to deliver data videos application and APIs quickly securely to global users CDN is a technology which is used to cache the content to the nearby location of user now keep this in mind we are using cloud front if you have global application global application means all over the world is actually using your content now if i am talking about specific definition of cloud front we can say that we are using cloud front to ensure low latency and high transfer speed all the global ott platforms must have low latency access if they don't have you can not able to watch high definition videos so to explain you cdn or cloud front what i am doing right now i am going to explain you two scenarios in first scenario i am not going to use cloud front for my global application and i want to i will explain you what will happen in the second scenario we will add cloud front and then we will find out the advantages of cloud front so let's start with the first scenario if you look at here i am actually giving you example of cloud fox itself through our lms through our learning management system we are providing you all the cloud and devops training people from all over world are actually learning from our lms now this lms is actually hosted in india mumbai location now here as we are talking about first scenario let's say that i don't have cloud front so right now let's assume that uh cloud fox we are not using a uh, cloud front right now now what will happen if somebody from india is learning from our platform and if they are consuming resources from our website they will not face any difficulties why because we have low latency access our server is in mumbai or india the user is also in india so we are connected with the fiber optic cable and because of there is no distance there will be no latency the another thing will happen over here is user and the server are are actually in the same country so here we are using domestic bandwidth domestic bandwidth is always higher so when the user will consume our content from india there is no latency and we are using uh in uh, uh, domestic bandwidth so speed will be very high and indian user will be happy from this for sure but if somebody is actually learning from usa i am just giving you example of usa it can be any country other than india this particular person will face issue if they are going to access content from our indian server yes they will face two difficulties first 17000 km is a distance between us and india so because of higher distance there will be latency first and the second problem is when you are accessing our content from usa you are actually using international bandwidth now international bandwidth is always lower than domestic bandwidth because of these two problem 
this American user is not quite happy. Look at this, right? So this is, these are like two problems that you will face. First, latency and the another problem is international or domestic bandwidth. There is one another problem as well if we are not using cloud front or CDN. Let's understand this as well. So here I have one server. As you know that the location of this server is Mumbai. And now from all over the world, people are consuming data. So what will happen? Person from New Zealand will access this. Person from UK will access this. Person from Africa will access this. And of course, Indian user is going to access this as well. Now what will happen? Everybody accessing content from this particular one server. Now what happens if this server cannot able to handle all this request together? At the end, this server will be down. So without CDN, actually I am facing three difficulties. One, latency. Second, international domestic bandwidth. And the third one is all the users are accessing one particular server. So this server cannot able to handle all this traffic. But cloud front will solve this issue. So now let's understand scenario number two. What will happen if I am going to use cloud front in this, in this same situation? So here I have another picture. Now if you look at over here, I have server in India. I am not going to uh, set up this server into the multiple location. No, I have one server in India. But right now, with this particular situation, I am going to use AWS CloudFront. Now what will happen if I am using CloudFront? As you know that Indian user will be happy because they are in from India, so they don't have any issue. But here, because of CloudFront, my global users will be happy as well. Now, how? See, let's say that if I have all the content hosted here in this particular main server. Let's say that I have one ec2.mp4 video, right? Whenever I will set up CloudFront distribution, how to set up this? Next topic, definitely we will talk about it. But let's say that I have CloudFront. Now, when you will use CloudFront, AWS will use CloudFront age location. AWS having more number of age location than availability zone as well. A global content delivery network where they are actually caching all content from their CloudFront user. Now, as soon as I will set up CloudFront, what it will do? It will copy this content, this video to the nearby location of my user. So, of course, they will copy this video in the age server of CloudFront age location. So, in age location, they have server. So, they will copy this video from this location to here in USA. Now, you can set up this with all the CloudFront location all over the world. Now, when my American user will start accessing my content, they are not going here to get data. They are actually getting requests from the nearby location because all my content actually cached over here. So, when American user is going to access this, they will get access directly from this particular age location. Now, Indian user is happy. Why? Because they are using domestic bandwidth. There is no latency. Same is actually applicable for this US user as well. Because now they are accessing data from the US server. So domestic bandwidth. And because the server itself in USA, there is no latency as well. So after setting up CloudFront, my Indian users, American users, even all over the world, uh, all over world is happy because they are consuming these resources from their nearby location. Now let's talk about the third problem. Okay, what will happen? Here, we have our caching server all over the world. We are using AWS age location. So, let's say that if I have ec2.mp4 video over here, it will be copied here. It will be copied here. In I, I can decide which age location I want to cache the content. Now, let's say that if user from New Zealand are accessing this content, what will happen? This user will get access from this age location or age server. 
because they are getting content from the nearby location, they are actually not coming here to the main server. Same way, this user will get the content from here, this user will get the content from here, this user is going to get content from here. Yes, some user will access data directly from the server, but most of the user will get this data from their nearby location. And at the end, on my main server, I am going to get few requests and because I am getting few requests, there is no chance that this server will be down or slow. So this is what the main use case of CloudFront and this is what we call it uh, content delivery network. We are actually caching the content here and then we are delivering this to the nearby location of user. I hope you got complete understanding about how actually CloudFront is a working. But practical will provide us better understanding. And as you know that CloudFox is always known for all the practicals. Definitely in this series, we are going to create all the content delivery network and global distribution. Stay with us. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.